Dharma practice is like medicine for the mind. And you want to make sure you get a complete treatment. As we meditate, we try to get the mind calm, and we try to gain insight. This corresponds to doing symptom management and then getting to the cause. So you're focusing on the breath, or whatever the topic is that you find gives the mind a sense of calm. That's managing the symptoms. Because if you want to see things clearly, think things through clearly, the body has to be calm, the mind has to be calm. Otherwise you're in too great of a hurry to get things changed, and you just grab at anything, good, bad, indifferent. You want to put the mind in a position where it's not desperate, where it has something of a sense of well-being, if not mentally, at least physically. The breath feels good going in, the breath feels good going out. Our thoughts of goodwill feel good to be thinking. Or you can think about the different parts of the body, realizing how many of the issues of the world arise because of the body. And what is there to the body? There's just this pile of things. It gives rise to a sense of sangwega. And the mind can calm down that way. Different people will find that different things are common. But what's important is to get the symptoms under control, so you don't interfere with the mind when it tries to figure out, well, why is the mind having this problem? The greed, the anger, the delusion, the fear. What's going on? What's the allure? When these things arise, why do they arise? And when they go away, why do you bring them back? That's when you can start getting some insight, and that's when you start digging down and really solving the problem. So you don't just pile on lots and lots of stillness. That keeps the symptoms at bay, but it doesn't get to the cause. The cause, the Buddha said, is something that can be found only through discernment. And you gain some discernment by getting the mind still, but also you have to learn how to ask the right questions. We sighed a lot of times with our defilements and see things through their eyes. And we say the Dharma is no good, because from their perspective it's no good, because the Dharma would actually undercut them, and they find ways of saying, no, 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 we don't want that. So you have to ask yourself whose eyes are doing the looking, whose voices are doing the talking inside the mind. When you can see that, you can see why those things are taking power. That's when you can uproot the problem and actually solve it. So remember, we want a complete course of treatment. We're not here just to deaden our responses. We're here to calm things down so that we can see. And we want to see because we can liberate our minds from their problems. That's when you have real health.